Hi, this is uh, Frank and Leslie on board uh, Karawa. Currently we're crossing the Bahama Bank, having left Chup Key this morning, and um, we're heading back to West Palm Beach, perhaps a week or two earlier. Out to port is um, Wanderlust N6209, and off to starboard is N6232. Zarpe, who we've done almost all of our cruising here in the Bahamas with. Um, the subject of this discussion is Cigatera, the fish poisoning that we have both contracted. And let me just tell you, it is not something you want to get. Definitely to be avoided at all costs. I mean, it's not like getting flu, which you're better in three or four days. It's been, we're on day 14 today. No. 13. Anyway, it's yeah, about four, two weeks. It's, it's Friday, isn't it? Yeah, so it's two weeks. Yeah, it's about two weeks. Yeah. And honestly, last night was the first night for me personally that I slept through the night, mostly. Um, and our symptoms seem to be waning. There are two primary effects of Cigatera. One is gastrointestinal and the other is neuro or neurological. Severe itching, bad headaches, and then on the gastro side, severe diarrhea, severe vomiting for some people. And uh, I guess the other thing is it means no alcohol, nuts, coffee, uh, what else, for six Eggs, months. fish. Eggs, oh, and fish, of course. I'm not sure I'll ever eat fish again. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> <laughs> Me neither. And that includes fresh freshwater fish, not only um, ocean fish. Well, that you'll eat. It's not necessarily it's a, an issue. No, it is an issue. They is said it? including freshwater fish. Really? Well, that's one of the things I read. Yeah, look at you. <laughs> um, but, so how did this all come about? We arrived down in... Hog Key in the south of the Raggeds. Zarpe, Orenda and Alliance had arrived the night before or a couple of days before. Dave Knapp on Zarpe had caught a 33 pound amberjack and uh, was excited to feed everybody this amberjack. Despite the fact that we all knew there was a risk of Cigatera and the fact that Dave said on the advice of my attorney, I must warn you, there's a possibility of Cigatera. We tucked in, we drank beer, and had a very nice evening with gay abandon until 2.30 in the morning when eight people from four boats went down like a... Ton um, of bricks. Like a ton of bricks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was quite a thing. And uh, the realization that everybody has got it and it's not just diarrhea from bad fish. This is the real deal. Cigotera, the real deal. I was horrified. I couldn't believe what we had done that we actually <laughs> ate the fish. <laughs> but as Frank said, we were warned and we tucked in like bandits. <laughs> we were all adults. Now look, I know Dave and Jean feel awful. Um, and I don't think they need to be. We're all adults and we all need to be... Uh, aware of what we're doing. Dave uh, had some other medical conditions which necessitated Dave and Jean taking a medivac sort of escapade back to Florida for three days. Um, fortunately in the first couple of days I was healthy enough to be able to go over and run the generator on Zarpe to keep the batteries topped up. Um, Leslie was flat out. I couldn't move for the first two days I think I couldn't move I, don't, I didn't get off the bed except to go to the bog <laughs> the bog the head <laughs> the head oh uh, yeah okay in nautical terms mariners mariners terms I had to go to the head a lot uh, I didn't eat anything I didn't drink anything I just went to the head a lot <laughs> so Cigatera is essentially um a toxin that the fish get from from the reef fish and eating the reef and then the big fish eat the little fish and it gets spread 
an amberjack, which is what we ate, was on the list. Like hogfish, like snapper, grouper, like grouper, lionfish, lionfish, like um, uh, barracuda. And the locals in the Bahamas swear, oh, you can eat, we eat barracuda. Ah, there's a lot of wives tales about uh, put it out and the flies will come and if the flies don't land on the fish avoid it or if the ants come or put it on the end of your tongue and if it's got a tingly feeling let me tell you stay away from reef fish and you that is the only way to avoid cigatera 100 percent avoid it exactly and um there's not really a treatment i know dave and gene got mannitol by iv in the hospital um i don't think they got better any quicker than us no. um, we're still not a hundred percent we're very very tired um, but we're now well enough to be making our way back to Florida so the symptoms the first uh, sign is obviously diarrhea which for me personally followed by vomiting and then the neural the neurological symptoms started itching that everything itches i went to take frank went to take a tin of coke out of the fridge and it nearly burnt his hand off because cold things feel hot and burn you and hot things feel cold well they don't burn you they just feel like they're burning they you. feel like they're burning you and then uh the inside of your mouth just tingles permanently you can't drink anything below room temperature because it burns your mouth uh, yeah. yeah um what else was there well, basically everything itched. You couldn't scratch yourself enough to satisfy the itch. So that was in the first three or four days. After that, I found that the itching became more specific, like your knees or your hands or my head. Uh, a few days later, it would be my feet. And so it wasn't always the and whole pain. body. Bone pain, oh, muscle pain. Yes, muscle pain in the legs Everywhere. specifically. Yeah. Uh, you'd lie down and you can't sleep because your legs are aching so you take a Tylenol and then your legs feel better and then you can't sleep because your eyes when you close them they burn and feel all scratchy so you put eye drops in and then they feel even worse there's another thing there's also heart issues if you are not careful and uh, I did take a little too much Benadryl as well as too much Gatorade and at one point, I thought my heart was going to come out of my chest. My blood pressure shot up. So I weaned myself off the Benadryl and I weaned myself off the Gatorade. And um, I'm back back in condition alpha. Um, fortunately, um, when you're friends with Dave and Jean, they are a, their boat is a moving drugstore. So <laughs> you're able to get what you need. Um, and we were also fortunate to have Rochelle on Alliance who um, was able to advise on a, a lot of things. Yeah. So for me, my heart rate went down to 42 beats per minute. I'm normally like in the mid to high 50s. And my blood pressure was 90 something over 60 something. No, yeah, it was yeah, low. So it was very you low. You got low, but I got very high. Yes. Yeah. So, and it's, I'm sure that, I don't know, I'm sure it's from the Sigoterra, not, you know, other factors. Now, the benefits of Zigatera. <laughs> I've lost at least 20 pounds or 10 kgs. The other benefits of Zigatera, there is none. <laughs> and that's a hell of a way to lose weight. <laughs> yeah, we're all slinky and skinny at the moment. So we just, we kind of loving You're it. You're always you know? slinky. <laughs> yeah, we kind of loving it. Anyway, jokes aside, um, Zigatera is no joke. Um, it spoiled our opportunity to hang out with Dylan and Sally and the boys, yeah. William, Henry and, and Jack. Oh, they, they came racing down from Georgetown. So they arrived, I don't know, four or five days later. And the boys came on, now they're six and five and two. They came on board, they'd drawn us a get well card and they each gave us a packet of little gummy bears. That was so cute. <laughs> But it was sad I couldn't have a beer with Dylan, or at least we were going to drink a bottle of Florida Carna together. Sorry, Dylan. Yeah. Um, anyway, yeah. Sally and Dylan managed to take all our mahi mahi and all our uh, lobster. lobster and all our tuna. Well, they didn't take the tuna. 
You forgot to give them the tuna. All the tins. They got all the tins. Oh, they're tins of mackerel. They've got 20 tins of tuna and sardines yeah, and they got anchovies. Meat and, and wine and all sorts of stuff. Yeah, we took out about 12 bottles of wine, but Sally said, no, I cannot take all of this wine. So she took six. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> they she brought a fresh loaf of bread, which was extremely welcome, Sal. A godsend, an absolute godsend. I know she also delivered one to Michelle. Alliance in return for th yeah. <laughs> some some goodies. Anyway, all that being said, um, we just wanted to raise uh, the awareness of Cigaterra. I think it's talked about, but nobody really realizes just how bad this is. And one of the bad things is that you can, it stays in your system, and you can get a reassure, a reoccurrence if you take a trigger. And certainly if you have alcohol, fish, nuts, caffeine in the first 12, six months, it's possible to have a reoccurrence trigger, and they say that the reoccurrences are worse than um, the first attack. Yeah, particularly if you if you eat fish again and catch cigaterra again, it's much, much worse the second time around. Let me just say, much as I love certain fish and fish type things, I probably will never have fish again. No more fish tacos. <laughs> well, you can try. You can try tuna down the road. Tuna's not a... But we'll see. Anyway, uh, we'll add this to one of our videos. Bye. Don't think that you're immune. Cigaterra is serious stuff. You do not want to get it. Be careful. As an addendum to the chat that Frank and I just had about Cigaterra, is um, to have your first aid box um, with stock with goodies that you need to fight the symptoms of cigaterra so the first thing that we all missed in our boxes was activated charcoal i don't know but i'm pretty sure that if we had taken activated charcoal our symptoms wouldn't have been as bad the second thing is tylenol we had lots of tylenol um, rehydration sachets without caffeine I had 12 and they are with 100 grams of caffeine each so they were useless um, obviously itch, itch cream so cortisone cream um, calamine lotion uh, that kind of thing antihistamines I was taking Claritin it's one per day and I felt it wasn't enough and actually, eventually, I just stopped taking it because it didn't help. The itch was there regardless. Uh, the other thing, um, what was it? Ibuprofen, um, Benadryl, um, and again, just stuff for the itching. Oh, oh yes, obviously Imodium, anti-diarrheal, anti-nausea, which most boats have because of seasickness. So you can probably take any one of those anti-nauseas. And I think that was all. But Jean, Jean had some cramping stuff. Oh, uh, apparently Jean had some cramping uh, medicine, which probably would help also. But honestly, something to soothe the itching skin, and then obviously the Tylenol for the aching legs, because those are really prevalent um, conditions. Uh, Frank says on Dancitron, on Dinestron, also helped him a lot i never took any but he says it helped him so check your first aid boxes everybody five weeks on we have um, gone to have an infusion of vitamins and we have also had eggs with little effect but we also tried alcohol. I've had two beers and the ladies have tried mimosas and Dave and I have tried Bloody Marys at breakfast. After the Bloody Marys we got severe itching in our feet. This went away with Benadryl and after a little sleep. The ladies also had itching which went away. Do not Take Cigaterra lightly. Thanks for watching.